Hey everyone, let's take a look at question number one in topic set nine, chem 11. This is a question about drawing Lewis structures and then using Vesper to predict the molecular structure as well as the bond angles. And then we're also going to add the concept of hybrid orbitals and use that concept to determine what hybrid orbital each of the central atom will use. And at the end, we're also going to predict the overall molecular polarity of each of the species that's given in the question. So let's start with BEH2, our first molecule. In order to be able to do all the questions that's asked, we have to first start with the Lewis structure, which means we need the valence electrons, two for beryllium, two for the hydrogens in total, so four electrons. Beryllium, as you remember, is one of those exceptions to the octet rule. You can have four electrons and have a stable molecule. So that will be the structure of BEH2. We're going to add some information here for first the electron geometry. This is has two pairs of electrons, so that's going to be a linear geometry. The molecular structure, since both pairs are bonding, is also going to be linear. Bond angle that goes with that is 180 degrees. And then we're going to go with the hybrid orbital now. So if you remember that each electron geometry has a specific hybrid orbital that goes with it. So in the case of a linear electron geometry, the hybrid orbital would be sp. And then lastly, polarity is just a function of whether the bond value vectors will cancel each other, and in this case they do, so this molecule will be nonpolar. All right, let's go to our next one, which is KRF4. Valence electron is 8 plus 4 times 7, 36. Central atom followed by four terminal atoms, which are all the fluorines. And then if we place pairs of electrons to make TET for fluorine, we would have used up 32 electrons, which means we still have four left, and that four has to go to the krypton, and krypton, of course, is in the fourth period, so that allows Krypton to violate octet rule by having more than eight electrons, and that's what we have here. Let's go with the electron geometry. We have six pairs of electron around Krypton, so six pairs means that we have an octahedral electron geometry. The molecular structure is four bonding with two lone pairs, which gives us a square planar, and this is all based on the Vesper geometries. The bond angle for a square planar is just going to be 90 degrees and 180 degrees and then hybrid orbital and again the hybrid orbital will depend on the electron geometry which is octahedral in this case so it's going to be d2 sp3 or in some other textbook you might see it written as sp3 d2 lastly is it polar or nonpolar in this case well the four bond vectors that exist in the structure happens to cancel out each other because they are positioned as a square so the k R is right here in the middle and then you have these four bond vectors going to the fluorine of the four corners and they happen to cancel each other out so as a result this is going to be a nonpolar molecule let's go to our next molecule which is of2 valence electron in this case is going to be 20 o is in the middle followed by octet for the terminal so then what remains should be those two pairs of electrons on the oxygen well again let's start with the electron geometry this is four pairs around the central atom which means it's tetrahedral. The molecular structure here is made up of two bonding and two lone pairs, or tetrahedral, that means bent or V-shaped. And then let's take a look at the bond angle. As you remember, that's going to be 109.5 for tetrahedral. And if we look at the hybrid orbital, again, that's based on the electron geometry. Tetrahedral means we're going to use an sp3 hybrid orbital. And lastly, polarity. Well, the bonds, the bond vector is going this way, and so they don't exist exactly cancel each other because the angle is 109.5 so as a result this is a polar molecule let's go to the fourth one which is sef6 valence here is 6 plus 6 times 7 which is 48 electrons remember in this case the terminal atoms have to have octet because it's fluorine it's on the second period but selenium doesn't have to have octet it could have expanded octet or more than eight electrons because it's beyond the third period so in this case that would be the structure and and let's continue with our Vesper prediction electron geometry for six bonding pairs in this case, right? One, two, three, four, five, six is octahedral. The molecular structure is identical, also octahedral, because all the electrons pairs are bonding pairs. And then we can go to the bond angle. And this is an octahedral structure, so 90 degrees, 180 degrees. Those are the two bond angles that exist. And hybrid orbitals. So again, looking at the 
octahedral electron geometry, we know that the hybrid orbital that we're going to use would be D2 sp3 or sp3 D2. Same hybrid orbital, just different names here. And then lastly, polarity, or all six pairs of electrons are bonding pairs, so they all cancel each other out. So this ends up being a nonpolar molecule. Our last species is TeF4, valence electron of 6 plus 4 times 7. And that ends up being 34 electrons. Again, the fluorine has to have octet. Once I use that up, I have 32, which means I need to place one more pair, two more electrons, and that has to be on the tellurium because that could violate octet. So going with that structure, the electron geometry is going to be five pairs of electron in this case, one, two, three, four, five, which means trigonal by pyramidal using Vesper. The molecular structure is four pairs bonding, one lone pair, that's seesaw. Then the bond angle, it's actually quite a few bond angle here that's going to exist. So we're going to have 120 and then 180 degrees and also 90 degrees. Hybrid orbital depends on the electron geometry. In this case, we have trigonal by pyramidal. That means D, sp3 or sp3d. And then lastly, polarity. These four bonding vectors here, unlike the case of square planar, which we saw earlier, these don't really cancel each other out because the angles between them are not 90 degrees like the case of square planar. So in this case, we're going to have a polar molecule.